Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. Uh, I've got a really, oh, exciting, <laughs> this one, okay, this one's uh, going to be a little bit of a fun one today uh, because it's got some kick. It's been quite some time since I've had something that was like uh, out of the ordinary, um, but it's definitely worth it. I'm actually surprised I haven't done it yet. Tonight's blend is going to be a spicy one, chili lime green. Now this one is kind of a prerequisite to the one that I'm doing next week. Uh, chili lime green is actually a component of that blend, but I'll explain more of that when I get to it uh, next week. This week, however, this week's gonna be a little bit tough um, because this one is really hot, really spicy. Uh, check out the uh, the ingredients on this one: green tea, chili pepper, right off the bat. Um, lemongrass, apple pieces, coconut, orange, key lime pie flavoring, safflower, natural coconut flavor. So this is going to be a really, really good one. Um, I have had this before and I'm kind of surprised I never, um, I never reviewed it before. Uh, but it is going to be a, it's going to be a good one. I can't wait. So... First, I want to talk a little bit about the color. It's got a bright, really, I don't know if, if the camera uh, sees it so well. On my end, it looks almost emerald green. Like, this is a little bit atypical for a, uh, hey, Snea, welcome. It looks a little bit atypical for a, for a green tea because it looks a little bit greener than, uh, than usual. Um, but it's probably due to the key lime, uh, the key lime flavoring, the um, all the green components on top of the the green tea. So this is, it's going to be a fun one. Now, right off the bat, you have a very bright, co different colored um, blend. You're going to see a lot of. Um, we have like the apple pieces, for instance. You got lemongrass. I don't know if you guys can see it as well, but uh, I mean, like, you, it's, it's got very vibrant colors. Um, if I'm not mistaken, gamer, welcome. If I'm not mistaken, they used to have red peppercorn in here, but that might have been a little bit of overkill. I don't know. Um, oh my god, but it's so good. Like, this is one of the very few teas that I've actually seen uh, have actual pepper in it. Uh, it's got uh, the, the chili pepper powder, and it is super profound. Like right now, this entire apartment smells of spicy pepper and like lime. It's so good, but you have to have you have to have a bit of a tolerance for for spice on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead because I have been like. I've been restraining from drinking this stuff. Um, I don't drink it very often, but when I do, oh, it's so good. <clears throat> oh, ooh. Right off the bat. Ah, super spicy. I gotta get that first cough out of the way. <clears throat> because, I mean, that's just the way that it hits you. At, at least spice always hits me first. Uh, right in the back of the throat, and then, um, like, I, I, I have my, um, what's the word? Like, I, I get kind of a tolerance for it after the first cough, but that first cough is unavoidable for me most of the time. At least I knew what to expect, because this is the kind of tea that um, I've had quite a bit of experience with. And I knew that I wanted to do it um, at some point, but I never got the chance to, to actually do it. This is a very much you have to be in the mood uh, kind of flavor for it. Otherwise, you're going to, I mean, at, at least for me, like I have to be in the mood. Um, but there is a lot of sweet and spice to it. Uh, I'm getting a lot of coconut flavor and a lot of like that that milky um, creaminess that comes along with it. Also with the key lime, uh, it, it, it offers a nice transition between the two. 
Like this is definitely not your typical green tea. Um, I can barely taste any green vegetation um, or that uh, umami in it at all. Um, but it's really, it's really nice. I see you're uh, playing with the <laughs> with the Twitch commands. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm still. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we've got. Uh, I, I spent about a couple of hours yesterday uh, tweaking my Twitch stream, and I've got a bunch of commands. Um, but yeah, everything is <laughs> right now. Gamers having some fun with them. For those of you who can't see, neither here nor there. But this is like a very full flavored tea. There's very little, ooh, very little water to it. <clears throat> I mean, there's actual water in there, but it you don't taste. It doesn't taste watery. Um, it's very full, very vibrant. If you're into that kind of flavoring, you have. It's it's got like a nice tropical feel to it. Um, I would not recommend <laughs> drinking it during the summer, um, unless you have a high tolerance. Um, and actually, I've done this before, it makes a really good iced tea. Uh, it's <laughs> kind of funny to say that, but it's true. Like, you, you, you get that iced, uh, you get a nice roundabout flavor. I can definitely, uh, I, I can definitely recommend icing this one. It's really strange, um, but I like it. It's kind of got like a soda uh, like a, like a soda kind of uh, flavoring to it when it's iced because you know you got the spice that replaces the uh, the carbonation. It I mean to me it tastes really good. Oh man, and mm, like the the tanginess of the uh, of the lime in it. Oh, oof, it's really profound, really hot. I even have. <laughs> I cannot open this window anymore, but I'm already feeling kind of like a, uh, like all of this right here is, is burning. It's got a, like this, this, this doesn't play around. It's a good, uh, it, it's got a good kick. When, when you need something to like clear out your nose and, and your, your throat, if you're feeling a little bit congested, I always recommend this because this will work. It'll clear you out in no time. Um, that's on a technicality because I also add, uh, the one that I'm going to do next week. I don't want to give away too much. Um, I don't want to give away too much from it, but, uh, I, I recommend next week's flavor. <laughs> I'm trying, okay, I'm, I'm behaving, I'm behaving. <clears throat> and already I feel like my nose is draining. And I mean, it's for good reason, because it's like, this is like an in-your-face kind of heat. And as it goes down, like, it's not, it's not like super duper, duper hot, spicy kind of a thing. But it's really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, it, it lasts. Uh, it's got a slow burn to it, and that is a... Oh, what are we reviewing again? This is the uh, chili lime green. I'm doing chili lime green, and it's whew, this is no joke. Hmm. Oh, ooh. that one. Whew. I never noticed how hard it is to talk and drink this tea at the same time. Uh, normally when I drink it, I'm just occupied doing something else, uh, or I'm quiet. But right now, all of this, my entire voice box is is warm. It's a... Uh... Hi, Big Mama Luz. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Uh, and don't forget to follow if you're not already. Um, but yeah, like this tea is like, whew, it's got some kick. Like I, I I've got a high tolerance for spice, but this is no this is no joke. Uh, right now, all of this is kind of like it's really really. Um, 
Oh, this is mom. You couldn't get Mama Liz. Oh, well then, hi, Ma. Welcome. I'm glad you came, you came in. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm struggling just a little bit because it's kind of like, normally when I drink this, it's it's really like straightforward. I'm just doing something and all of my throat is relaxed. Trying to speak as I review this tea is a little bit difficult. Because right now it's it's kind of like a little bit raw, but in a good way. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> yeah. And I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like scared to do the Thomas taste only because, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Only because um, I'm going to have to hold it in my mouth for like a couple seconds. And this is the kind of tea that you're going to want to keep uh, moving. <laughs> if you don't have like tolerance for it. I do have the tolerance for it, but still I'm kind of like, we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and do it right off the bat. See, uh, <laughs> see how it comes out. I'm breathing fire quite a bit. <laughs> like this is oof, like this has got to be the this is honestly the spiciest tea I've ever had. Uh this you do with the Thomas taste. Yeah, like uh, honestly like the Thomas taste is is not uh necessary because the the flavor lasts so long in your mouth. Usually I do the uh, the Thomas taste just to like look for anything different. But the, the, the thing is, like the sweetness is so strong, the spice is so strong, the um, just this blend is such a slow burn that you don't really need it. I did it just for the sake of um, I did it for the sake for the for the integrity of the stream. But honestly, I feel like I'm going to be tasting this for another 10 minutes after I'm done. Uh, but, you know, I mean, like, this is, it's, if, like, I would recommend this if you like spicy teas. Like, like if you're into chais and stuff, this isn't your normal, typical chai. Um, Rachel, welcome. Thanks. This tea is, oh, this tea, this tea shirt, ah, saved it. This t-shirt is actually about 20 years old. <laughs> like I got this at a Comic Con back in New York years ago, but yeah, I, I love it. I still wear it to this day. But yeah, it's like as I drink, I'm developing my tolerance. Um, I'm eating it. I'm eating it. I'm drinking it uh, as I eat it. You know, as I would eat something spicy uh, and hot. And it's feeling like really, it's feeling really good, you know? I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I love that, that, that flavor. Because, I mean, if it was just spice, it wouldn't have that kind of effect on me. Uh, is this an herbal tea, by the way? No, it is not. It actually has green tea in it. Um, the green tea leaves are... that That's like... That, that, it's like you have the green tea and then the chili right there. Like, they, they're, it's high concentrations of both. And I'm kind of sweating <laughs> a little bit right now. But, whew, I love this stuff. Like like the sweetness alone. If they can if they can get like just the sweetness uh, out of this, it would be incredible. Mm. Right now everything is like it's kind of like uh, draining my uh, it's draining my sinuses, and it feels good. You know, I mean, especially now, now that uh, cold season is coming, uh, this is, oh yes, I absolutely am feeling hot. Like, 
right now this even this t-shirt is a bit of a burden because <laughs> like i have like the short sleeves it's kind of loose fitting and still i'm like Whew. but i mean like this is this is what i signed up for oh yeah it's this spicy like i have a nice uh a, a nice tolerance for it and that's the only reason why i'm not like running uh i kind of like that it clears your sinuses nicely oh absolutely that's why uh it's just been like Whenever I would get sick, especially at work, and I have this thing where for about two months out of the year, I'm coughing and I have like a lot of, um, what's the word, uh, uh, post-nasal drip. Whenever I get that, I stick to a nice regimen of the chili lime green because you get a good, uh, hey to devs, welcome. Uh, you get a nice, uh, a nice spiciness that just warms you up from the core. Uh, can we send this tea to India? We can send any tea to India, really. Uh, I don't, I don't see why not. We'll send a, we'll, we'll send a care package. Hmm. <laughs> Woo. Hacha. That's a. Ooh. That is a good one. Right now, I can feel the lines, the lining of my esophagus. It's like warm and and spicy. I I really I really should have thought this through before thinking that I was going to drink and talk a lot more. Um, and I, it's I'm kind of sort of regretting it. Uh, but, I mean, the show must go on, right? So, like, right now, my entire voice box feels like it's um, kind of like the fireplace of my mouth. You know, like something, like there's a warmth in there that's, that's just keeping the fire going. And everything else, shh, <laughs> those sirens, man. No, everything else is kind of like, like the, you know how, like, like when the heat rises, it comes out of your mouth. I have a bit of a dragon breath kind of thing going, and I feel like my, I'm about to start smoking it at any time. Mm, but it's really good. Actually, it's probably a fire truck. <clears throat> Because the firehouse is just a, a block or two that way. So that's more likely what it is. Ugh, I don't know why they're going out now, though. Oh, anyway. So I'm really enjoying that. Even throughout all this spice, there's a lot of sweetness to it. Like, the, 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 the coconut is really profound in this. Um, something must be on fire. Yeah, they're coming to see me. <laughs> All I know is that if I turn around, there's going to be a giant hose that just comes through the window and put, and uh, it's going to go right into my mouth. Mm. Yeah, look, we don't care about fire. Exactly. Except for the fire in my mouth. Because right now, <laughs> that fire, I think this is kind of like appropriate. Mm. This is kind of appropriate to be in the background. See, and look at this. Like, I feel like I'm drinking this way too fast. But I'm just enjoying it so much. Like, this is my kind of tea. I love spicy teas. I love chai teas. This is not a chai tea. Uh, it doesn't have the traditional chai uh, ingredients with ginger, uh, cardamom. Uh, most of the time it's cinnamon. Um, stuff like that. This doesn't have this, so it's not technically a chai. Um, but then again, you know, like, what is? Because the term chai is just tea. So... I mean, like, there's a lot of controversy, but when you when you talk about a chai tea, you talk about specific, uh, like a masala chai that has specific ingredients. So this is not a chai tea at all. It's just a spicy tea, which I find pretty interesting. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Oof. That's some good stuff. All right. Questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, now's the time. I'm opening up the floor. 
Uh, God, chai tea is an American invention. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not an American invention. It's more like an American interpretation. Um, it was differentiated from its original uh, sense to inflect the fact that it's an Indian blend. Um, but it's something that's kind of like lost in translation as you speak. When you're, oh, sorry, everything is, <laughs> you can, you can probably hear it in my voice. Everything is kind of like draining. Mm. But, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's lost in translation, uh, where people don't normally know what chai is, and they go by what is advertised. So, Indian, so people usually think Indian chai English tea, but there's no such thing as English tea. Tea was only, uh, what was it? I specifically use mint in almost all my teas. That is a good thing because uh, a lot of people, <clears throat> a lot of people love how mint interacts into different kinds of blends. I do, I do that all the time as well. Uh, my favorite in, uh, my favorite mixed or my favorite blend is usually a jasmine with a mint. Um, and that goes so well together. It, like, like the effervescence of the mint really brings out the, um, the I don't, I don't want to say, not the odor, the uh, perfume of the jasmine. It's really good. Also, um, when you, you, when you mix, uh, when you mix mint with like lemongrass or mint with chamomile, it's really super relaxing. It's, it's one of my, it's one of my favorite things to, to put in, uh, in every tea. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, choked. Okay. Uh, I'm going to continue <laughs> with the questions and the comments. Um, I'm going to answer Teresa's question. Like, she always asks, what would I, uh, what would I, uh, what would I pair, what food would I pair with this? Um, being what it is, I, I actually, no, I would not do steak with this. Um, although because it is spicy, um, I, I, I'm leaning more towards pairing the sweet part of it. Uh, it's more like a tropical, um, I, again, Indian food, probably not only because, um, well, it would depend on the dish. Like I wouldn't pair it with something that's too heavy, uh, too heavily spiced, um, because you want to taste the sweet. So I would probably do it with an Indian dessert, like the, um, like the cookies, or, uh, I forgot what, it, what they're, what they're called, um, <clears throat> I forgot what the, 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 the sugar cookies are called, but they would go really well with this. And anything with fruit. Whew. <sighs> God, this thing is like... Uh, insomnia cookies, maybe, um, like, like a ginger snap or something like that. You know, something that's got, uh, more on the lighter side, I would, uh, I, I would recommend with something like that. Not really a chocolate chip kind of thing, but, um, <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, I would do more like the, uh, how would I put this? Um... God, like I, I, I would go along with something that would generally go go well with sweet fruits. Maybe a salad. Uh, I really can I can see this going well with a salad. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think that's it. Like I can't really think of anything that I would pair with this um, because right now all I can think about is like tropical. It, it, like like tropical foods, um, maybe a baked ham. I don't usually like baked ham, but for anything that's got like that pineapple sweetness to it, um, anything that, that goes well with a coconut, that I would recommend uh, more than anything too heavy. I think that a steak would be way too heavy uh, for it, and then you would miss out on the sweetness um, because you would be getting more of the spice uh, w with that kind of flavor pattern. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> the after effect, after it's um, steeped, 
you see there's not really a whole lot of, uh, of difference between the, the, the dry and the wet um, after it's steeped because the green tea alone Hold on, let me see if I can pull some out. Yeah, there we go. The green tea alone is already cut. And it's already open. So you're not going to get much of a green tea uh, flavor out of this. It's got the tea in it. But the tea is, like, you, you would get, like, it's not going to open up. So you're, you're going to get a small amount of the tea. That's why everything else is like pretty much overshadowing it. Hey, Ma, welcome. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh my God, this thing is like <laughs> everything is draining. Ah, uh, all right. Oh, now it's starting to concentrate. <clears throat> and that's the thing about drinking tea. If you don't drink it fast, <clears throat> all the particles tend to compress and sink to the bottom. So right now, all I'm getting is like the coconut <clears throat> and the pepper. Whew. And it is, it is no joke. <laughs> like my eyes are watering right now. Uh, all right. And I love it. This is my kind of flavor. Uh, I, I tend to be a little bit wild in my tastes, but I mean, like, for all the right reasons. And even, I'm not sure if you can see it, but look at that concentration. That all there is what sank to the bottom. Like, you can see this, this little black patch. That's all powder. That's probably, like, 80%. 80% uh, chili powder. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> my reaction, Ma. It's like, oh, damn. Oof. And I mean, like, this is... I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm not going to enjoy talking about it, though. <laughs> because, like... I, I'm going to put it down for a minute. Hey, Zam, welcome. You're catching me on the, uh, on the tail end. <clears throat> this is very much a tropical tea. Uh, it's got like the it's got the lime, it's got the coconut, um, it's got like some of the, 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 the lemongrass, and it's usually like more towards the. Uh, it looks like torture. It's it's not torture. The torture part is talking. <laughs> like the torture part is speaking as I drink it. Um, and like it's it's definitely um more challenging than i realized only because this last part this last gulp uh as gamer says bottoms up it's gonna it's gonna kick me <laughs> and i am anticipating it i am actually excited about it <clears throat> but uh it's 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 gonna be awesome Oof. okay so here we go. Questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, now is the time. And I highly encourage you to do it now because I am you're, you're going to get a great reaction from me. So in order to answer these questions, if you want a good laugh, this is, this is the time to do it. All right, here we go. Bottoms up. It's coming out my nose. Ooh. <laughs> oh, all right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's true. Better late than never. Oof. All right. Right now, all of this is like smoking. But in such a good way. I feel like it, it's that feeling that when you eat hot wings... And that flavor just like rotates in your mouth and just sticks there. Oof. Mm. There is no replacement for that feeling. I, I'm absolutely loving it. Oh. But I'm really going to be breathing well tonight. Oh. 
as soon as as soon as this is over, I'm gonna go blow my nose and you know we'll call it. <laughs> all of this is like all all of my mouth is on fire. <sighs> okay, so anyway, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It has been a wonderful experience. I highly recommend it if you like spicy foods, if you like spicy uh, drinks, this is definitely one to check out. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> I lost it for a minute. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely one to check out. I will be leaving the uh, link to it uh, on, the, on Facebook. So thank you all for joining me. This has been a great experience and I will see you next week with uh, the one that I'm not going to talk about now. <laughs> All right. Have a good one.